She's going to wait during intermission and after the show. She's going to have a sign-up sheet um, for just some general numbers for the uh, banquet, for the end of the year banquet for the drama troupe. If you can see her before you leave today, you can catch her at intermission or catch her at the end of the show, but just to get a little guesstimate of how many numbers we may have at that end of the year banquet, we greatly appreciate that. So Miss Abelin, intermission, end of the show. Thank you. Welcome to the Joe White and Seven Sisters. Please keep the aisles clear, silence all phones, and feel free to take pictures. Enjoy the show. The king would not be happy with an incomplete book of fairy tales. Let's see. The twelve visited princesses? No, not that. The golden goose, being a beast, mother snow. The three spinners, Cinderella, Thumbelina? Nope, nope, uh uh. It must be here. I knew I wrote it down. Keep looking, Jack of the Beanstalk, Toads in the Diamonds, Snow White and the Seven, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Here, here it is. I knew I wrote it down. Queen Snow told us this story before we even heard of the doors. Fantastic. The king will be so pleased. We promised him a complete collection of fairy tales. Leaving one out is unacceptable. Agreed, brother. Now, let's make sure it's all here. We named it Jill White and his seven sisters. Oh, yes. How the queen loved her brother. He was always a hero. He did that as it helps. A personal leadership skills? How could he ever expect to be an effective king? Seriously lucky for Joe's path crossed with the seven sisters. Once upon a time in a far off kingdom, Joe loved a young prince named Joe White. Joe lived with his father, the king, but his father was always off making peace with other kingdoms. Joe's mother had died five years earlier after the birth of Joe's sister, Snow White. Snow was a sweet little girl who always wanted her brother's attention. Joe, Joe, look at my doll! But Joe was always busy. Joe and Snow's father remarried when Snow was just a baby. Their stepmother, the new queen, was not fond of children. All she cared about was her appearance. Soon, Joe would grow to appreciate his sister and the pure goodness she brought to his life. Sometimes, the greatest trials of our life brings about the best outcomes. Boy, my name is Joe. What up? The man who has the morning off, you need to watch a child. Her name is Snow. You say that as if you expect me to care. Why can't one of your ladies watch her? Are you serious? They are very
Back early, snow. Joe, where is everyone? Thank you. I bet the Queen said you were a princess sitting dude. It seems you made it out in one piece without even wearing a scarf. Good for you. Now where is your sister? That is the problem. Hmm? Problem? I can't find her. We're playing happily ever after hiding no see, and she stopped saying ever after. She was in her royal garden, and now she isn't. She has to be there somewhere. It isn't like her to run off. Nanny, are you back? Quick, go into the garden and look very carefully. I will deal with the queen. Ah, uh, Nanny, I thought I heard your sweet tone. I need your help. My ladies are completely incompetent in the realm of braiding hair. You must come at once and instruct. But your majesty, Snow, the boy can continue watching her. But... No, no arguing. Your expertise are required, and I fully expect you to come along at once. This is a crisis. Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny, I did not find her, but I did find this. A pepper ribbon. Oh, I hope she been, didn't get tricked by the candy witch. The candy witch? That was in the gym. I'm afraid so. She has many ways to entice the children to come there. You must go in a black forest and find your sister before the witch does. Okay. And Joe did not return alone. I will find him. I promise. Um, that is what I 
specialize in specialized different services, and the service I provide is the service that is needed. Her need is different from your need, so her card must be different as well. Huh? Can you help me? I'm lost. I tried to take the shortcut to my granny's cottage, but I need it up here. So, I can help you. Your granny lives in a little white cottage with four curtains and a blue door. <gasps> That's right! You need to go back to the last fork in the path, go about 20 yards, and cut through the daisy meadow. And just beyond and to your right is your granny's cottage. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I am your servant. I hope we'll meet again. Bye. That was so amazing. Now, Little Red gets lost in the forest at least twice a week. Between you and me, she's a few flowers short of a bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> me and her granny have a deal. She gives me the intro on what she sees and hears in the forest, and I point Little Red in the right direction when she gets lost. That is nice of you. No, I am just thinking when when. When what? When when. I went and she went. I learned it from Tanil, one of the seven sisters. You have seven sisters? No, I don't have any sisters. The seven sisters, the keepers of the crossroads, the leaders of the black forest. Seriously, they help those who have lost their way. What now? Gives me shivers. Just the thought of her gingerbread house with me grumbly belly. I sure hope they'll find snow soon. I sure hope they find much soon. Brother, please be serious. No one's in real danger. Yes, I know. Lucky gentlemen, be be wolf, and we'll soon find the sisters. That gives me the courage to continue reading. Excellent. Continue, brother. As Snow White and Maze missing in the Black Forest, and her brother Joe White continues to search for her, there are other children in danger and other forest creatures up to miss them. I'm Ruffles Dukeskin! I'm Ruffles Dukeskin! I am Spin Strong Gold! I am over one hundred years old! I'm Ruffles Dukeskin! I'm Ruffles Dukeskin! Helping people for a first my game, all they need to do is my name. My name is Ruffles Dukeskin! <laughs>
can't get to break or catch lunch. I'm starving. Lucky they found those breadcrumbs, they're going to be delicious. I smell many children in the forest today. My sweet gingerbread boy is the perfect thing. He will lure the children back to my gingerbread house. I must go and get things ready for when they arrive. Connect. I will feast on gross children. <laughs> Why did I even bother escaping from that tower? At least up there I had food, books, a great view, a brush. Why did I pack a bag? I really did not kind of get where I love. Maybe I should go back. Are you okay? Do you need some help? Help would be, well, very helpful. Okay, let me see. If I just twist this and pull here. Wow, you got a lot of hair. I see what's cut over it. One more pull and there! Thank you so much. Are you new to the forest? I haven't met you before, right? We aren't friends, are we? I sometimes forget things. People. Yes, I was. I did not know how I got here. Tell me what you were doing and why you came to be here. Before I came here, I was 
for, um, let me think. I was out for a walk, then I found this super cute house. Nobody was home, so I let myself in. I knew they wouldn't mind. People in the floor are so always so nice. Right, please, go on. So I went inside, they had left some porridge on the table. I didn't want to go back, and I was hungry, so I ate it. Then there's Sarah. Sarah is very energetic and likes to take initiative and help and know the need. Did I hear you talking to a visitor, sister? Yes, Sarah, this is... I'm sorry, I didn't tell you my name. I am Goldilocks. This is Goldilocks. She was just telling me how she ended up here in the classroom. So far, she has put herself into so nice empty house and eating the breakfast, correct? Um, yep. Oh, how much sleep? Please continue. Okay, so after I ate the porridge, I got from the house. It was really, really nice. and decided to try out a couple of chairs in the living room. Unfortunately, I kind of broke one of their chairs. Oh dear, did you try to fix it? No. Did you leave the laundry to replace it? That did not work. Ah, I see. Did you do anything else in the house? Well, actually, I started to get quite tired after that big breakfast and went upstairs to find a place for a nap. Did someone say nap? Nally is the calm sister. Calm? I think I would use the word sleepy. I didn't wake up here. I woke up in the house and there were bears staring at me. Bears? Yes, bears. How many bears? Three. There were three bears. What did they do? They told me to get out of their house. They were quite rude. They were rude? Yes, yes. I see. How to manage to come right here? I think you have to find yourself here at the crossroads because there are a few things you need to learn. Like how to handle rude bears? I wouldn't put it quite like that. The last year feel so kind to take a walk with my dear sister Sarah. So being quite a teacher has to be done with the other time and seek for us to understand. Talk about right here. Perfect. Please, Miss Gloria, come with me. I will show you the way of the way out of our place. So, what word would you use to describe Emily? Emily. Easy. Emily is a cheerful sister. To you, I found the most delightful food in the berries. Look at how delicious they look. They look lovely, Emily. I think I can make some scrumptious tarts with them. Tarts sound wonderful. I should go back for now. Unless you need me. I'm fine. Everything is calm. Go take your cookies and mine for now, like nothing. I will. There's also Wendy. Wendy had a spirit that is full of music. And Stacy. She's very serious. If you just try it, I know you'll enjoy it. I have tried it. I've tried it my You said happy birthday to Neil, what 
to you. Fine. I thought it would never be fast enough to find you girl slow. Thank you. 